you won't believe what just happened. McDonald's has partnered up with Krispy Kreme to boost sales. The world's most addicting fries followed by the world's most addicting donuts is going to be a disaster for American health and wallets. Obesity rates are already sky high. 42.4% of U.S. adults are obese, according to the CDC. And this move could send us spiraling further. Welcome to today's Deep Dive, where we're unpacking everything you need to know about McDonald's latest strategy to win back its customers. As costs rise and competition heats up, McDonald's isn't just flipping burgers. They're flipping the script. By partnering with Krispy Kreme, they're offering what could be the ultimate temptation. Fresh, melt-in-your-mouth donuts alongside your favorite McDonald's meals. But what does this mean for us? Sure, it's a feast for the taste buds, but it's also fueling a health crisis and financial crisis. McDonald's current challenge. Why is McDonald's, once the king of fast food, scrambling to win back its throne? In the past few years, McDonald's has been feeling the heat, not from their grills, but from rising operational costs and a shift in consumer preferences that could turn any business owner's hair gray. According to a Bloomberg report, McDonald's has seen a gradual decline in customer traffic, a trend that's been persistent over the last decade, with a 1.9% drop in the past year alone. The cause? The increased competition and a consumer shift towards healthier, more sustainable eating options. Adding salt to the wound, inflation has been another critical punch. The cost of ingredients has skyrocketed, putting pressure on profit margins. McDonald's has been forced to raise prices, which in turn drives away the very customers they seek to retain. McDonald's operational costs have risen by 11% in the last fiscal year, prompting a price increase on their menu items by approximately 6%. But it's not all about rising costs. Consumer behavior has shifted dramatically. 60% of millennials prefer to dine at restaurants that offer both healthy options and a commitment to sustainability. This demographic shift is pushing McDonald's to rethink their strategy as their traditional menu items no longer align with the preferences of a significant portion of its market base. So what's McDonald's doing about it? They're not just sitting back and watching their empire crumble. The partnership with Krispy Kreme might seem counterintuitive given the health trends, but it's a strategic move aimed at rekindling consumer interest through novelty and indulgence. It's a high-stakes bet to see if the allure of limited-time, crave-worthy treats can bring people back through those golden arches. This section of our story paints a picture of a company at a crossroads facing economic pressures and changing tides in consumer taste. Can McDonald's adapt quickly enough to stay relevant, or will this be the start of a slow decline? Stay tuned as we explore more on how they plan to tackle these challenges head on. The McDonald's and Krispy Kreme Partnership can a match made in fast food heaven save McDonald's slumping sales? This year, McDonald's announced a partnership that might just be the sugar rush it needs. By teaming up with Krispy Kreme, McDonald's is banking on the irresistible pull of fresh donuts to drive customers back to their restaurants. Here's the scoop. Starting later this year, three of Krispy Kreme's fan favorites, the iconic original glazed, the chocolate iced with sprinkles, and the decadent chocolate iced cream filled will be available at McDonald's locations across the U.S. The rollout plan is as ambitious as it sounds. Initially tested in select locations in Kentucky, the response was overwhelming, with stores struggling to keep up with the demand. Inspired by this success, McDonald's is planning a phased expansion. By the end of 2026, they aim to have these donuts in every McDonald's restaurant nationwide. Imagine walking into any McDonald's and treating yourself to a Krispy Kreme donut with your coffee. That's the future McDonald's is betting on. But why donuts and why now? It's all about the allure of limited time offers and unique product pairings. These strategies are not new in the fast food industry, but they are powerful. They create buzz and excitement, something McDonald's is eager to capitalize on, especially as they look to inject some excitement back into their brand. The implications for both brands are significant. For Krispy Kreme, this partnership dramatically increases their market presence, taking their donuts from specialty stores to one of the most ubiquitous fast food chains globally. For McDonald's, it's an opportunity to diversify its menu and attract a demographic that might not typically consider a fast food chain for a coffee or sweet treat. 
But there's more at stake here than just increased foot traffic. This partnership reflects a strategic pivot for McDonald's, signaling a shift towards more dynamic menu collaborations as a way to stay relevant in a rapidly evolving market. The question now is, will this be enough to turn the tide for McDonald's or is it just a sweet distraction from deeper issues? Consumer Reaction and Market Analysis Did you know that McDonald's serves over 75 hamburgers per second across the globe? 6.5 million hamburgers a day. That's a lot of burgers, but here's the twist. Despite these mind-boggling numbers, McDonald's is fighting harder than ever to keep its customers coming back. So what happens when burgers meet donuts? As McDonald's and Krispy Kreme roll out their partnership, there's a lot of buzz, but there's also growing concern about the health implications of such a collaboration. Yes, donuts at McDonald's might be a treat, but they also add to an already calorie-heavy menu in a country grappling with obesity and health issues related to poor diet. Recent studies have shown that obesity rates in the U.S. are at an all-time high, with over 40% of adults classified as obese. Hot. Adding Krispy Kreme donuts to the menu might not seem like a big deal, but when combined with the typical McDonald's meal, it could contribute significantly to daily calorie overload. The typical McDonald's meal already accounts for more than half of the recommended daily calorie intake for the average adult. Adding a Krispy Kreme donut could push that even further, making it a full day's calories in just one sitting. This partnership raises critical questions about the role of fast food giants in the health of their consumers. Are companies like McDonald's and Krispy Kreme merely responding to market demands, or are they responsible for encouraging healthier eating habits? This question becomes even more pressing as we see rising healthcare costs associated with diet-related diseases. With heart disease and diabetes on the rise, the economic burden of these health issues is tremendous, costing the healthcare system billions annually. Moreover, this move by McDonald's could be seen as a step back in the recent trends toward healthier food options at fast food outlets. While McDonald's has introduced salads and fruit options in the past, the prominent placement of high-calorie donuts could overshadow these healthier choices. Health Implications How would you react if I told you that a single partnership could tip the scales on America's obesity crisis. Yes, the McDonald's and Krispy Kreme collaboration could have more on the line than just profits, namely the waistlines of millions of Americans. As delicious as a warm glazed donut may sound, its integration into McDonald's, a fast food chain already criticized for calorie-dense meals, sparks intense debate. According to recent health data, nearly 70% of American adults are considered overweight or obese. Adding an option like Krispy Kreme's original glazed, which packs about 190 calories, mostly from sugars and fats, could further exacerbate this issue, especially when you consider that a typical meal at McDonald's can hover around 1,000 calories. The timing is particularly interesting. This partnership emerges just as the medical community reports a rise in diet-related diseases. For instance, cases of type 2 diabetes have seen a significant uptick, aligning with increasing obesity rates. The economic impact is just as staggering, with the U.S. spending upwards of $190 billion annually on obesity-related health issues. It's a hefty price tag that underscores the broader implications of dietary choices promoted by major food corporations. But here's where it gets even more thought-provoking. At a time when there's a strong push towards body positivity and accepting all body types, there's an inherent contradiction in promoting foods that may lead to negative health outcomes. It raises a critical question. Are we doing enough to balance body positivity with healthy living? Some critics argue that this partnership might even suggest a hidden agenda among big food corporations, potentially aimed at capitalizing on America's health crisis. Could it be that the more we indulge, the more these companies stand to profit? Not just from food sales, but potentially from alliances with the healthcare industry. Please take two seconds to help me out and hit the like and subscribe if you find this video interesting so far. Each like and subscribe helps support this channel and keeps us motivated to keep making you great content. Thank you. Now, back to what I was saying.
it becomes clear that this isn't just about adding another tasty treat to the menu. It's about understanding the long-term health consequences that such decisions could have on society. While no one is suggesting banning donuts, the placement of high sugar, high fat options in an already calorie rich menu could be seen as a step back in the fight against obesity and related health problems. It's crucial for companies like McDonald's to weigh the allure of immediate sales against the potential long-term health impacts on their customers. What role should they play in promoting healthier choices, and is there a way to do so without sacrificing their bottom line? Economic and Brand Impact Ever wondered if a donut could reshape the fortunes of a global fast food giant? As McDonald's teams up with Krispy Kreme, we're not just watching a new menu item roll out, we're witnessing a potential economic powerhouse in action. But as with all great powers, comes great responsibility and risks. Let's break down the numbers. With McDonald's operating over 13,500 locations in the US and Krispy Kreme's significantly smaller footprint of less than 400 stores, this partnership dramatically amplifies Krispy Kreme's presence nationwide. This isn't just a win, it's a game changer for Krispy Kreme, potentially increasing their market share and visibility overnight. For McDonald's, offering exclusive Krispy Kreme products could drive significant traffic, tapping into the donut chain's loyal customer base. Economically, the stakes are high. The fast food market is fiercely competitive, and McDonald's has faced its share of challenges with fluctuating sales figures in recent years. By introducing a popular product like Krispy Kreme Donuts, they aim not only to boost short-term sales, but also to enhance their brand appeal. The initial test market showed a promising increase in customer visits, suggesting that the partnership could lead to a sustained boost in revenue. However, with great opportunity comes great risk. Brand dilution is a real threat. Krispy Kreme, known for its specialized fresh donut experience, risks losing that niche appeal by being available in a ubiquitous chain like McDonald's. Conversely, McDonald's, which has been pushing for a healthier image with salads and fruit options, might see a mixed response from health-conscious consumers who view this move as a step back. Moreover, this partnership could set a precedent in the industry, influencing other brands to pursue similar collaborations to stay competitive. This could lead to a ripple effect, where fast food chains increasingly rely on cross-branding to attract customers, potentially overshadowing their core offerings. From an economic perspective, if this partnership drives consistent traffic and increases average order values, it could be a model that others in the industry will follow. However, the long-term success will depend on the company's ability to balance the appeal of new products with the integrity of their brands. As McDonald's and Krispy Kreme navigate this partnership, they will need to carefully monitor consumer feedback and sales data to ensure that the sweet addition of donuts doesn't turn into a strategic misstep. Broader social and cultural implications. Did you know that major food collaborations like the one between McDonald's and Krispy Kreme often mirror and even influence broader social and cultural trends? This isn't just about serving donuts alongside burgers. It's about the impact such partnerships have on our collective choices and cultural norms. In the world of fast food, McDonald's has long been a cultural icon, synonymous with American cuisine and lifestyle. However, as the dietary preferences of the population evolve towards healthier options, McDonald's has had to reconsider its approach. The introduction of Krispy Kreme donuts into their menu can be seen as an attempt to reconnect with a culture that values indulgence and convenience, a nod to the classic comfort food many grew up with. This move also speaks volumes about the role of major corporations in shaping dietary habits. By making high-calorie treats like Krispy Kreme donuts more accessible, McDonald's could be seen as a contributing to the prevailing issues related to diet in the U.S. However, it also highlights the power of consumer choice and the demand for such products, which continues to drive corporate strategies. Moreover, this partnership reflects broader economic and cultural shifts. In a society where time is increasingly viewed as a scarce resource, convenience often trumps other considerations. The ability to grab a coffee and a famous glazed donut at the same location taps into the modern consumer's desire for quick and easy solutions, blending indulgence with efficiency. On a larger scale, the collaboration between these two giants demonstrates how cultural identity and corporate America intersect. 
Fast food, once merely a quick meal option, has become deeply ingrained in the social fabric, influencing not just eating habits, but social behaviors and expectations. It's a reflection of the more is better ethos that pervades many aspects of American life. This strategy, however, comes with its own set of challenges. As corporations like McDonald's and Krispy Kreme wield significant influence over public diet and cultural norms, they also face increasing scrutiny regarding their responsibility towards public health and the societal impacts of their marketing practices. The question then becomes, should these food behemoths also lead the charge in promoting healthier dietary habits given their substantial influence? It's clear that they're more than just business ventures. They're cultural statements. They have the power to shape not only what we eat, but how we think about food, health, and indulgence. This partnership is a window into how corporate decisions resonate through the layers of society, potentially reshaping cultural norms and expectations for decades to come. Future of fast food and health in America. Did you know that the strategic brand partnerships like the one between McDonald's and Krispy Kreme can increase a company's market value by up to 20%? It's true. When done right, these collaborations can be a financial windfall, but at what cost? This partnership raises important questions about the role of fast food in our health and cultural identity. While it might boost short-term sales, the long-term implications on public health could be significant. With obesity rates already high, adding more high-calorie options into the mix could further complicate America's health challenges. This collaboration also reflects broader trends in consumer behavior, where convenience often outweighs other considerations, including nutritional value. As McDonald's and Krispy Kreme weave their products more tightly into the fabric of American life, they also shoulder a greater responsibility to consider their impact on public health. What does this mean for the future of fast food in America? It could go one of two ways. Either it signals a shift towards more indulgent, impulse-driven eating habits, or it sparks a counter-movement towards greater corporate responsibility and healthier choices. The balance these companies strike between profit and public health will likely set precedence for the industry at large. Thanks for watching and please make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video and watch this one as well.